Hi guys, I want to show you one of my wacky experiments here. Uh, I've drug out the old infamous and dreaded C-clone protein skimmer. What a POS. Back in the day that was considered state of the art. It's how time has moved on. Anyway, I digress. What I'm thinking about doing is setting up a probably 40 gallon tank uh, to house a green spotted the puffer. I've always wanted one. They're wicked cool. They're brackish water the fish and Depending upon their age. I've been doing some research uh, They live in different uh, The specific gravities Looks like it starts out about 1.005 and moves up to 1.02 which is getting pretty close to marine and I'm a big fan of protein the skimmers. They keep tanks wicked clean. So I really want one on that tank if I set it up. Not this one. This is just an experiment. <laughs> I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Uh, but I really would need to know at what salinity level, specific gravity level, does a protein the skimmer stop working? I tried to find this information on the internet and I found a bunch of conflicting data. So I'm going to prove it to myself because that's the way I do things. So <clears throat> I have the old C-clone here. I have a tank full of uh, the wastewater. I just did a water change. And so what I'm going to do is run this. And I'm, I've got it off now because you wouldn't even be able to hear me talk. It, it sounds like a jet engine. <clears throat> I've got my water level marked. I'm going to run this at this uh, sp specific gravity is 1.024. I just measured it. And I'm going to take out a cup of water, of this salt water, and replace it with a cup of fresh water and keep doing that until I can't see any foam the fractionation. And the reason I chose this uh, old protein skimmer is because it's got this tornadic foam fractionation, so it's real, real easy to see when uh, it's going over into the freshwater regime, that will just become bubbles, big fat bubbles, and you know you're not going to be able to skim anymore. So I'll do the experiment and then I'll show you the result. Hold on. Okay, we're down to 1.020. I just measured it, and we're still getting foam the fractionation. So I'm going to keep going. Okay, we're down to 1.017, and I'm starting to see a bunch of big fat bubbles rising up in there. You won't be able to see that on this cheap camera I have. So I'm going to uh, keep going. Okay, we're down to 1.013, and it's starting to look very freshwatery, if that's a word. The foam fractionation is slowly, slowly going away. There's still some, but it's not great. Hold on. Okay, I believe I've reached the end. This is 1.011 specific gravity. Almost 1.0. 1.01. And uh, it's hard to see on this camera, I know, I'm sorry. but. That fractionation is not going to make much skim mate, if any. I mean, it might if it runs and runs and runs. I don't know. I've certainly never tried it, but it's it's not fractionating a whole lot. Let me unplug this. So when you bring the green spotted puffer home from the store, I'm told they're in fresh water. So uh, I would take him up to 1.005 over a week or so. So the protein skimmer is not going to work at that level. But as I bring him up as he ages, then now I know at 1.01 .01 approximately, I can start adding a protein skimmer. So that's the end of this goofy experiment. I'll see you later.